Good morning, guys. Out here on the Riker, heading to work. A um, little chilly. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Fall is in the air. Um, next couple days are actually going to be dang cold. Let me change the lens here. All right. Um, it's going to be dang cold. So I got to just uh, dress accordingly. And that's about it. I mean, you got to dress for the temperature, not the weather, as in rain or something. Of course, you got to put on a rain suit, but you got to dress for the weather as in the temperature wise um, but uh, normally a padded coat underneath this windbreaker is just fine keeps the cold windbreaker off my skin and it works just fine right now I just have a long sleeve shirt um, underneath this jacket and it will work just perfect because it's not that cold but it's chilly um, let me see a topic this is a topic we got on at work and you know, it's uh, viewed different ways. It's a little political, not too much, not politic wise, but more of equal rights type deal. Um, and it's viewed both ways. So I just wanted to hear what you guys think. It's on pregnancy. Um, the women, they get pregnant and they say it's their body, their right to do what they want with the baby. Um, you know, either abort the baby, have the baby, and the guy has really no say in it. Um, so if it's their right to keep the baby or abort the baby, then when it's born, why is it mandatory or always demanded or looked upon that that father should support that baby? If he had no say in keeping it or getting rid of it type deal, um, now, I'm not saying on every case, I'm saying overall, you know, we're talking just a wide majority of the time. Um, since he didn't have a say in it, then why is he obligated? I mean, yes, he is going to be a deadbeat dad, that is his kid and all that, but he didn't have a say as to keep it or not keep it. Um, it's her right, her body, well, it's, you know, it should be his right to want to be a deadbeat dad or not. Um, or... Let me put this out there. This is where my argument came in. <clears throat> was what if he was to say when she says, hey, I'm pregnant and say, yeah, that's great. I want the baby. And she says, no, I don't. I don't want the baby. I, I don't want that to happen to my body. I'm too young. It's going to mess me up. Um, you know, if it's long as it's not, you know, we're not going to get into the political end of it, of abortion and all that other stuff. And when it's medically safe, you know, or when it's, um, safe for the wife to, or woman to have the baby. Hold on. No, stop light. Hold on. All right, I'm back. <coughs> As in, you know, there might be a reason to have an abortion. You know, it's not healthy for the wife or baby in this situation. Um, anyway, we're not getting into that. We're talking just, you know, he says, no, I, I want the baby. And she's like, no, I don't. You know, just for selfish reasons, don't want the kid. And why is he not able to stop it, the abortion, and protect that child and be the dad? And once it's born, he has custody and she can walk on and go on and do her own thing, but legally protect that child. Um, I don't know how it would all work at all. I'm just saying, I'm just throwing this out there. We were talking about it. And I said, that would be pretty cool. You know, some guys might, you know, there's probably very few, especially if they're younger, that would step up and play ball like that. Um, but what if they were to do that and they passed a law to where that child is protected now and cannot be aborted and that father or the father of that child will have custody of that kid? Um, I know there's a lot of loopholes and a lot of variations you gotta go into if they ever were to pass something like that. Just like abortion, you know, the whole, is it safe and not safe for the mom and the child and you know stuff like that not just selfish you know reasons we're talking more of a medical and safety reason <clears throat> but anyway that was our conversation we we're talking about it and I said man that would be cool if the dad could protect the child you know being he doesn't normally have any say in it you know she can just go and get it done and he can't do anything about it he can't file anything he can't there's nothing you're stuck you know that's if you wanted to be a dad or it meant something to you and that's something you did not believe in and wanted to fight it, you can't. I mean, there's no way. So you gotta be careful. 
gentlemen, <laughs> be very careful if you are one of those people and the woman is not of that nature, you know, and would get the abortion or whatever and you guys would have a problem. Um, anyway, yeah, just be careful. So, anyway, that's the topic. I just thought that was pretty interesting to talk and uh, it was neat to have it sitting around the table and there was, you know, two ladies and like three guys and of course, you know, the guys chimed in right away saying, you know, how many guys out there would fight it and want to raise the bar? I said, well, you, you know, it probably not. <laughs> you know, you most likely it wouldn't, but there might be a few that would actually would uh, dreaming of having a kid, you know, no matter what their age and what, you know, knowing that that woman is pregnant with their kid they want that baby and their son or daughter more than worried about their um, 20s or whatever they might be in yeah, you know, when they have the kid or their life as in changing. So I just thought it was a pretty cool topic. Um, that's it. Enough on that topic. <clears throat> and let me see what else. Um, Allergies are starting to drop back down. They're not as bad now with this uh, riding and the wind picking up all the pollen off the trees. Um, I get it, you know, in the fall and a little bit in the spring, but uh, I think the fall kicks me a little bit harder. This year it hasn't been that wet, so it has not been that bad, and it's actually tapering off on the tail end right now. Um, when I edit at a stoplight, I know automatically, you know, with editing, I know as I come up on it to just be quiet and then once I start moving again I can continue talking and I know I'll take that block out uh, editing wise. Um, let me see, after 17 years, yes I did close the video editing company or video production company and I really don't miss it. I like doing these videos, this is really no editing, I just cut out some sections I don't like and roll with it, adjust the audio. Um, I don't do any kind of music overlay, I don't do an introduction, none of that. I just let you guys watch the ride. Um, and talking about watching the ride, let me cut some of this out. This is boring part. Hold on. Alright, we're coming up a little bit from the turn. The sun's peeking through there, it's bright. <coughs> um, this helmet has a built-in visor inside of it. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not real familiar with a lot of different visors or helmets that they, it may be something that's pretty regular on helmets now but this one's automatically built in that way I don't have to wear sunglasses take them off put them on um, while I'm riding you know I can just flip it up if it gets dark as I'm heading home or same thing coming in if it's dark in the morning I can leave it up and then as the sun comes up like it is now I flip it down so it's real convenient real nice um, but uh, let me see, I got sidetracked there. Squirrel, you know me, I get sidetracked on different conversations here. Oh, anyway, on the editing, yeah. So it's really nothing. Yeah, you know, I'll adjust the audio when I get back and, you know, clean it up, drop out the audio of the bike, and, or try to muffle it out a little bit in the wind. But um, that's it. So I enjoy this. I just don't want to go back into it full-time, editing every day, and working to scripts and people's guidelines and all that. I mean, it's just really demanding. And when a company hires you to do a commercial or a promotional video that they're planning on making a couple hundred thousand off of, and you charge them, you know, $1,000 a minute, um, you have to pay attention to every little minute detail and make that like the utmost outstanding video in the world um, for that product to gain them that money or else you won't get repeat business. So if you're looking just for the instant money and then you don't care about repeat business, then you're not going to really make it because that recommendations and word of mouth will kill you. Um, advertising is pretty good, you know, when you put marketing out there, but normally word of mouth work that other people have seen you do for competitors and stuff like that will gain you tons of work over marketing just to give you a little insight on that that's what i've learned over the 17 years all right heading up here i'm going to cut it off thank you for watching and talk to you soon bye